hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it's a mat girl here guys of course and if you're new here and you're not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell for me let's hit to reach 2000 subscribers guys and i've said to keep you kind 5k and you're gonna give away guys your 5000 kenyan shillings for two three for three people for the first three people so guys Today I'm going to discuss or I am eager to show you how to start a Mutumba business that is the second hand clothes selling. So as you know guys, in Kenya Mutumba imekuwa a very imekuwa a very profitable business guys because for real Mutumba imekuwa a profitable business as by researchers of more than 100 tons was na the was being imported to Kenya that meaning that Mutumba business is on high scale selling here in my country that is in Kenya so guys have you ever thought of yourself starting a Mutumba business have you ever thought of starting any kind of business you want to start in the life and you have no capital have you ever thought of doing something and you are fearing that you don't have enough capital so guys it's just so simple let's relax and listen and just focus on what I'm going to tell you so first of all as I've said, Mutumba is a very profitable business, by the way, and you can start it as low as with even 200 shillings, with 500 Kenya shillings, so long as you know what you want to do and you know why I'm doing this business. You just have, you don't have to do business because someone else is doing it, no? You do some business, you just do your business because you know I need to earn something for my future, I need to earn something for my family, I need to earn something for myself. So... Having 500 Kenya shillings, you can start a Mutumba business. So let me tell you just a short story. There was a time I was very stuck back then. And I had only, I think I had 10,000 Kenya shillings. But I was very motivated. I'm going to invest all these Kenya, 10 Kenya shillings on this business and then in the loss. Okay, at first, I have to first some doing yanks, but I... But at that moment, I was like, no, I need to start doing something. At least to earn something for myself. I remember I went... And went to a madam who was selling a mutumba and I was like, Mom, ni pate zile za mwisho mwisho. So na juko na hile ya kumalizi ya bedu wa nasema hivyo. Ya kumye 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 kumye. And I went there with 500 kina shillings. Na ni kamambia ni madam, I need zile za kufagilia. Haka nifagilia, haka nifagilia zile za 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And believe me or not, on my first sale, I earned 1,500 kina shillings. Because I came, for those for 10 bob, which she was selling 10 bob for me, I came and sold them 50 bob. And for those she was selling 50 bob, I sold them like 60, not 60, I sold them 80, 90, 100 there. So it depends on how much the customer I'm gonna go again. And I was so much focused because I had no apartment or a stagnant place. I was going rounds, rounds. So I was going to do my business, to sell my bill. So guys, here are the things you have to know. As I have said, capital can be just roughly from 500, even 100. Imagine, umefagila hizo kumi kumi, and then you're coming to sell them 50 bob. That is the 40, 40 bob of profit. Because there are those are going to begin start time. So, having mutumba for, so you can start from medium, you can start anywhere, whatever the scale you want with your business of Mutumba. So for medium, you can start from 20,000. I think that is a bell. Having one bell, you can start it with that 50,000 Kenya shillings. So first of all, all we have to, to, you need to do, you have to identify the large market. You have to know, I'm going to sell this Mutumba for certain people. Kama ni zawa toy, you have to know that area as our toy. If ni zawa chana, you know that tag, I'm targeting was chana. If it's for men, I'm targeting men. It's for any kind, any different kind of clothes you want to sell, but remember to, tar to target a large scale number. We target to kwa ka village Kenya and just to know people there, they are not interested in the certain dressing code. So another thing you have to know your location. Location is very suitable for any kind of a business because location attracts customers. Because you can't sell crop tops in a village where people dress, dress long dresses. You can't, you can't sell you, need, you can't sell crop tops to certain people or to certain religions. So you have to know the location where you're going to locate your business so that you can attract customers. Another thing, you have to know supplier, where you're going to get your bells, where you're going to get those people for a year, where 
your target you are going to get your product if it's a bell you can get them from any bell store but you have to be very careful in which bell store you are going to get it from because there are many many so bell stores in kenya right now and you have just to be wise in your econa clothing standard another thing of buying stocks and bells if want to SIFC, you can start it from anywhere you can start it from those fagilia fagilia when you want to fagilia bell when you can start it from those who are saying that um, from for bells or you can decide to import your things but before you reach the stage of imports you have to kunumazile bells because i remember bellium Bell sheet. Bell sheet is a six by six, five by five, five by six. I think bell bed sheet is like twenty-eight thousand shillings. Ill first camera because you have cameras. First camera is twenty-eight thousand kina shillings. And if you think that you can't afford that Kenyan shillings, twenty-eight thousand Kenyan shillings, you can kwenda a robo and a bell nuso. So you can go and kukatua bell nuso and you can come and kukatua bell robo it depends on how you're gonna sell because one bed sheet is 2300 another thing as i'm going to say you can import these bells here yeah? you can put them from japan from china from germany from australia from canada we have uk exports we have even in europe but we have grade a we have grade b we have grade c and d grade a nilona samanga camera ile yani na ka mpya and in bell let me tell you something unaona kwa bell ukifunga bell sema ni bell ya watoi na umekuwa ni ile light ramage bell ile light ramage zile go light za watoto za kama sama ni nini hiyo bell inaweza kuwa na more than 200 clothes up and down na hiyo bell ukume ni na 25000 kenya shillings believe me or not hata before your bell is utakuwa umerudisha price yako umerudisha transport yako na umerudisha anything before the bell is cuz the first camera when sana na watu wanaipenda sana so just focus on what you want to do yani ile bell unataka another thing we have different types of bells you can see that i'm going to sell mixed blouses i'm going to sell a i want a bell of crop tops i want a bell of trousers i want to focus on men so i'm gonna i'm going to get men's bell and you can trouser and you can blazers and it's the code different types of bells in a different types of clothes kuna zile ma blazers what on your want in kazini there are those who want shorts there are those who want swimsuits there are those who who want crop tops jumpsuits any we have different types of bells so it depends on you and i guarantee you once you're going to sell your bell you're going to return your money double you're going to return your money even before the bell itself is finished and before malize kuza bell yako another thing you have to know to know is that once you're selling this mutumba clothes, you don't have to come at it because you must have bell in a letter do mob. No, just be simple. Yani, no kwe mtu akujituma. I paint, and akuna business ina pendanga kuselek kidogo. So guys, if you want to open a mutumba bed, we have many mutumba beds in Kenya right now. We there are mutumba in in Mombasa. We have Buxton. I know Buxton. I'm going to travel here. People are paying money. I'm going to Even in Kongwe, most of the people go to Kongwe to get their second-hand clothes there. And in Nairobi, we have Jane Mutumba Bells, and we have other is in Kigomba. Kigomba, I'm going to try just to hapo. And you can start it as low as with as low as five hundred. You just go to someone, someone who sells mutumba na mbia na tukazila mutumba za kufagili ana kufagili na kumi kumi. Come send them at fifty bob. That's apple ume and you have your own profit. Because in a business, we have to have 50 years, and we have to have 45 years, and we have to have 40 years, and we have to So guys, that's all what I had with you today. And there were main key points, as you would listen to me carefully, there were key points for me here. First, capital, I identified the large, the large market, location, supplier, buying stocks in bills, and that's where you can start it anywhere unaweza amua sitakuwa na kibanda nitazungusha you can even decide i'm going to have a shop for my like nila baby shop it has it has mutush for kids 
and they are very super cool akuna mtu anaweza i can imagine akan anaweza aka imagine kama even in tush at your your shop so guys thank you so much for watching please kindly subscribe give this video a thumbs up guys support me guys and let's meet on another video bye bye